Alrighty, so like I said, it doesn't affect the physics, but if we let's remove this a little bit down, let's leave the physics part, the ragdolls, and instead, well, activate slow. -mo. After we complete this, this which is just setting the physics we're gonna set the global time dilation just so we can see the actual physics going like slow down 0 0.3 compile and we're gonna hit play we're gonna hit the guys and we're gonna slow down time so yeah it's actually true the global time dilation affects the whole <laughs> it looks pretty funny so the global time dilation works with everything the entire like the physics engine particles whatever you want to call it I mean you should do this again it was pretty cool amazing so the global affects the entire scene physics whatever and the custom time dilation which is related to the actor only works within the actors I think not related to the physics engine so everything not related to the physics engine I think gets slowed down so I think that answers your question like to the subscriber that gave me the idea from here like let's show the code this is a basic let's remove this this is pretty basic from here you can either use a projectile use an explosion or just use the same system to create slow-mo system for the actors that got hit from here you can expand you can add a specific material for the actors that got hit so you know they're in slow-mo like in dead space which is the blue overlapping thinking around them but you can do you can basically take this system and build on it and do your whole specific mechanics or whatever you want to do with your whole slow-mo so I think I answered your question again I think this is pretty complete in terms of what I wanted to do with making specific actors slow 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 specific actors down now what we're gonna do is we are going to <laughs> the guys jittering we're going to add the slow-mo system from Max Payne we're not gonna add it completely like the game I showed you the game that I did but we're gonna basically just do the toggle slow-mo and we're gonna be working with time dilation with the global one or what well, we can see if we can slow down the global time and then speed up our actors time so we like go a little bit more slow more faster than everyone else and at the same time we can slow down physics and stuff to create more compl compelling gameplay okay before starting I've imported some sounds from the bunny game which I'm sorry I don't remember where I got them from which is basically this and this I think they're from Max Payne or some other game I'm not sure so just look up bullet time sounds on Google something will, will pop out okay we got the sounds now we're gonna make the whole system okay let's disable this let's use the same slow attack and we're gonna do it really simple extremely simple yes okay so unpressed we're gonna do a flip-flop which is basically a toggle and on a which is the first one we're gonna set custom time no global time dilation to let's see 0.3 we're gonna reset it back to one. 
apart from doing this, we are going to wait before. Hmm. Yeah, before we're gonna play sound. 2D. We are going to play the bullet time sound. The initial one. Let's copy this down here first. Connect this. And we're gonna call bullet time two. It's pretty high. The volume, let's put it 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay. So play sound, slow down time. Now we want to uh, global pitch modul modulation. Yes. We're gonna slow sound also, although we really don't have any gun sounds or anything to actually see it, but I'm just showing you how it's done. Pitch modulation, let's put it uh, 0 0.7, and it's gonna take one second to reach 0 0.7 from 1. Let's copy this, put it down here. Pitch modulation, 1, time second, 1. So it's gonna take one second to return back to default. Okay, let's see if it works. Play. Yep, it worked. Perfect. Now, what was the other thing I was gonna do? Play sound. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, let's slow it, slow it a little bit more. Let's put it point one. And after we slow down time, we want to set custom. This is an experiment I'm doing with you guys. And we are going to sp speed ourselves back to one. Let's see, that works. Nope, I think the global one overrides every single time dilation available in the world. Okay, so we got that running. Okay, I think this is pre pretty much it, yeah, because we got the max paint system implemented. Obviously, we don't got like the bullet time meter and all that, but you seen the previous tutorial, the Destiny one, you can basically just build the progress bar with your variable, and when you activate slow mo, it basically starts decreasing on tick. The variable so it basically instead of regenerating the super bar or the progress bar it depletes and when it reaches zero it deactivates the whole slow-mo and yeah I think that's pretty much it for our slow-mo tutorial let's quickly let's do something quick <laughs> let's okay that's done slow-mo okay do slow mo attack. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty cool. Let's see if we got any sounds here we, we could use. Uh, we're gonna use claps. Why not? <laughs> Why not play that sound? So let's copy this quickly. And just for fun, let's apply 500 or So when they get launched, they go to the side instead of just going up. Let's see how this looks. So we got our guys following us and boom! They got wrecked. No. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. Also, I forgot you can add a post post process uh, volume to the world, 
and whenever you go to slow-mo you can basically blur out the screen or just add your specific post processes uh, post process effect whichever you want maybe uh, chromatic aberration however it's called you can add a little bit of that and maybe just add a tone to either set the scene grayer or basically just whatever you want to add so yeah I think we are pretty much done with this tutorial it was pretty much improvised because I didn't go back before and like recreated the whole tutorial before showing it to you guys I basically did this while showing you guys so it's a win and win situation because I learned and you guys learned at the same time and that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave some comments uh, let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next find some cool mechanics from other games please let them not be huge ass systems or some really complex graphical programming whatever we're just looking for gameplay mechanics we can easily recreate on Unreal Engine using blueprints just to start if you're good you can take this and port it over to C++ so I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video